Welcome back to a new episode presented by me. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. You know him? I don't have a clue what he's talking about. This one and time him. at band camp. <laughs> And me. <laughs> Welcome to Drinks with Duck. Hello. <laughs> and welcome back to Drinks with Duck. But seriously. Uh, it's Tuesday. What is drinking with ducks doing on a Tuesday? It's supposed to be on a Thursday. Well, our Ask Duck uh, series got canceled. Not enough viewers, not enough questions. So for now, it's on the back burner. So we're going to be doing drinking with ducks anywhere between Tuesday and Thursday. So, yay me. <laughs> Maybe I'll put up two episodes of Drinking with Duck every week. You never know. Gotta wait to see what happens. But here, I'll show you what I did get. I bought me an antique, you know, 1950s, 60s, whatever, ice cooler. Yay! Pretty cool. You know? I'm gonna have to go get some ice for it, and then we'll start making some drinks for you all. Yay! <laughs> okay, right now we're gonna make a mocktail. Yeah, a mocktail out of your tail. <laughs> I don't get it. Anyhow, a cherry cheesecake mocktail. Yes, we're gonna start off with a couple ice cubes. Mmm, there we go. We're using nights for once. Go figure. It's a new world. <laughs> okay. Then we're going to use our cherry vodka. Couple shots of that. Spill. Oh no, what's the world coming to when a man spills alcohol on his bar? <laughs> okay, now we're going to add some rum shada. Now I've been told, uh, you know, in the actual thing, it's got grenadine and a few other items. But if you just use, oh, I hate these new bottles. Uh, if you just use some cherry vodka or cherry whiskey or cherry, you know, whatever, and some uh, rum chata, see, rum chata to your drink, it's supposed to be like a cherry cheesecake. I mean, it probably would have made more difference had I put it in my shaker, but I didn't. <laughs> now, let's stir this puppy up. Get a little stir straw. Mmm. Looks like pink. Something. I, I really don't know what to tell you. It's very pink. Very pink. <laughs> well, I got an old red jersey on, so whatever. So here it goes. 
Ergo. Let's give it a smell test. Smell cherry. I don't know about the cheesecake. Well, let's give it a try. Prost. You know, it kind of does taste like a cherry cheesecake. Wow. Great invention, uh, Rum Chata. <laughs> wow. I might just have to make a bigger one later for everyone. Next. Okay, you're thinking to yourself, what can I do, Duck, to get rid of all this cherry vodka that people keep bringing over? and don't drink. Well, I'll tell you, we're going to make a mock Shirley Temple out of orange vodka. No orange vodka. Oh, my God. <laughs> Cherry vodka. <laughs> Cherry vodka and orange juice. We were getting ahead of ourselves right there. <laughs> but Cherry vodka and orange juice. Okay, we got a cup. Let's get a couple ice cubes. Go pour a cherry vodka in first. About ye much. So we're trying to get rid of the vodka, remember? Then orange juice. Then we'll take our stir stick, stir her up, see what kind of concoction we got this time. With our cherry vodka, no less. Jeez, I should have done all this stuff on Valentine's Day with the cherry vodka. Go figure. <laughs> Anywho, let's see if we can drink this one without puking. Nah, it should be fine. Yeah, it kind of tastes like a, it smells like a Shirley Temple. Let's taste it. Yeah, tastes like a Shirley Temple. Oh my goodness. A mock Shirley Temple, I may add. So, what we have coming up for our last drink is something crazy, man. Crazy. I don't even know how to describe it. So we're just going to get right to it. Now, once again, we're on our final drink. <laughs> It will it make the duck voluptuously spew the contents of what he's created yet today. We shall find out. Okay, for our last and final drink, we're going to need a couple ice cubes. Out of our West Bend cooler. Go figure. There we go. A couple ice cubes. Ugh, that gets cold after a while. <laughs> oh, if you only knew, if you only knew. But anyhow, we still have a lot of that cherry vodka that we're trying to use up. So we're going for some cherry vodka. Not as much this time. We need room for other ingredients. Then, we have Fireball Cinnamon Whiskey. The rest of the contents of that. Okay. Then, we're going to see if two other ingredients want to mix with it or mix with me. I don't know. Orange juice. <laughs> rest of our orange juice. Pour it in there. Ooh. 
And then we got some rum chata. Okay. Now I have no idea what this is going to turn out to be. Let's stir it up a little bit. It's got the rum chat in there, and it really don't want to mix. <laughs> it doesn't want to mix at all. I don't know. This could be the one, folks, where we spew all over you. <laughs> oh, no. Let's give it a smell test. Hmm. Doesn't smell bad. It looks bad. Let's give it a try. You know what? I actually love it. It is a good drink. I don't know what to call this, but it is a good drink. Someone think of a name down in the comments below. Mmm. Now this is a good drink. Well, not much I can do about the puking part. Sorry, folks. Maybe next time. <laughs> well, that's all we got, folks. We got uh, no more ass duck until further notice so we're doing the drinking with duck every tuesday to thursday maybe tuesdays and thursdays we'll see but uh on the weekends we have thoughts with duck so remember to give that a try but pretty soon somewhere in that time slot is going to be duck with his banjo yes i just bought a new banjo can you believe this oh my god no, I'm not going to show it just yet, but it's a pretty nice banjo, so bear with me. I'm going to practice a little bit, and then we'll start taping, okay? Catch you on the flip side. Who's a good boy, Max is? Yeah.